Hey everybody, we are going to go back to the Robinson family and they are still ordering food at the fair. They're still ordering drinks, pizza, and cones. Um, but this time their order is a little different and we're also going to use the distributive property to get a look at what exactly the total order is. So it says each of the four members of the Robinson family ordered a drink, D, two slices of pizza, P, and an ice cream cone, C. So here they have four, because there's four people in the family, times that drink plus the two slices of pizza plus the cone. We're gonna rewrite this algebraically and go ahead and use the distributive property to see the total order. So again, there's four people in the family. They each ordered a drink, two pizzas, and one cone. Remember that variable by itself implies that there's just one. We don't need to put the one in front of it because one times that number is just that number. Okay, I didn't leave myself a lot of room for rainbows. We're still doing um, say hi, multiply, but this time instead of there being two people at the party, there's gonna be three. So four's gotta say hi to D, two P and C. Okay, so first, Four is gonna come in, say hi to D and multiply. Four times D is four D. Then I have to drop down that plus. Anytime you come across a plus or a minus, just drop it down. And then four has to multiply with the two P. Four people ordering two pieces of pizza each is eight pieces of pizza. Drop down the plus. Four, ooh, I didn't leave myself a lot of room. Four times C, four times four people getting one cone each, that's four cones. So we've rewritten their order as four drinks, eight slices of pizza, and four cones using the distributive property. 